Hello, my name is Jim Barlow, and I have worked for many years in developing countries, and I help people understand hydraulic ram pumps as an elegant solution for humanitarian water projects. Around the world, there are millions of people who are forced to walk downhill from their villages and bring water back uphill for their use in the house. This is a drudgery that is done by mostly women and children. So we're looking for a way to alleviate this need to carry water, and ram pumps can be an elegant way to do that. Ram pumps pertain to communities or projects in mountainous areas, and that's because we need streams or a water source where we have a gradient or a fall because we need to take water from higher in the stream and bring it to the ram pump at a lower elevation downstream to get the horsepower. A flat stream like this is not as suitable for ramp pumps. So the goal is to bring water from these streams up to the communities to a storage tank and then by gravity to taps at the house and alleviate this problem. The Adventist Development and Relief Agency, ADRA, understands ramp pumps and has been installing ramp pumps for various of their water projects. In particular, they are doing some work in the Vanuvatu island chain in the South Pacific. Uh, in the Vanuatu Islands, there are upland highland areas that have the right kinds of stream and flow, and so ram, ram pumps can be installed there. Now, this woman grew up having to walk down to this stream to get water and do her laundry, and now that this ram pump is here, uh, she doesn't have to do that. There's now a tap at her house, and she, she's relieved of the drudgery of walking down here. So on this graphic, we can see how a ram pump installation works. What we do is we take water from the stream uphill from where the ram pump will be sited and we put that water in a surge tank. And from there, the water will fall through a steel drive pipe, that diagonal drive pipe, into the base of the ram pump. It's that fall of water, the, the power, the water power falling into the pump that does the work. Inside the ramp pump are a, are a couple of valves, two moving parts that are force multipliers. And so they'll take the power of the water falling into the pump and use that to pump some of the water under pressure now uphill uh, to great heights and great distances using just the water power that's falling through that drive pipe. The water goes into a reserve tank and can be distributed by gravity from there to taps at the house. So here's an example of a ramp pump installation. The surge tank is not very visible, but it's right above the waterfall on the left side of the picture. And the water is falling down the diagonal uh, drive pipe into the blue ramp pump in the lower right-hand corner. From there, the ramp pump is pressurizing some of that water and sending it way uphill to a storage tank where it can be redistributed by gravity from there. And this pump is requiring no electricity or gasoline. It's all powered by water pressure, and that's the point. Ram pumps come in various sizes and capacities. So what we do is we look at how much water is available in a stream and how much water is needed in a community and we select a ram pump based on those criteria. Where I live in western Panama, we have the kind of upland mountainous country where ram pumps can really work. And we have ethnic communities up in those mountains that live on ridge tops and they have to walk down to get the water they need for their villages. And this is a problem. There are public health concerns, women have to do the drudgery, but also children are dying. And so we're doing something about that. In these high areas, imagine a village way up on the ridge line and the stream down below. So how do we get water up there? And we need to get water up there to fill tanks about this size and then we can go by gravity feed down to the, uh, the houses and they can have water at the tap. So in the following video, we're going to show you an example of an installation of a working ramp pump that's filling these tanks. And this is what can be done in projects around the world. Okay, so uh, we're up on top of the tank here. Now the guys have just tell me, told me that this 150 is pumping 8,000 litres a day. We're pumping up around about 100 metres. I'm not too sure, but we'll get that measurement later. So we're pumping up about 100 metres and we're getting 8,000 litres a day, you know, which is just under twice the amount that this little Rampo 150 is spec to. So, you know, these guys know this stuff over here. I'm really impressed with the installation and uh, how they've gone about it. It's very professional. It's a, it's a great job. Now we'll just give a listen to the sound. We can't get the water uh, videotape the water because it's in a black tank where we can't really get the camera but let's have a listen to the water here coming into this tank
All right, Kevin, and then here, so here we're on top of the tank, and here's the road behind us where they're developing this finca. And then if we pan around here to the right, down here is the source of the water. And we're going to go down there and take a look at the pump. So there's Kevin up at the up at the surge tank, and the surge tank has an overflow. So if more water comes into the surge tank than is needed by the ramp pump, it flows out. Here's this pipe, here's the overflow. And right here through the trees is the water flowing back into the water source, back into the stream. So we have more water here than this pump needs by quite a bit. So here we are now at the bottom of the stream at the water source. <clears throat> the ram pump is right behind me. And we're looking at Kevin Ed and Eduardo uh, alongside the, the drive pipe. Um, I'm uh, very proud you know, to have one of my pumps here and they've done a really great job. Wonderful. So here we go. So this is sending water, this little pump. He's using water power, the power in the falling water, to send less water, but a lot of water, way up the hill out of this canyon we're in, without the need of a conventional motor. So there's no diesel engine down here, there's no electric pump down here. Once this thing has been paid for and installed, it just runs like this, like we're seeing, day and night, and in New Zealand, we have ram pumps of this make and model that have been installed for 10, 20, 30 years that are just 30 plus that are just now coming up on their first need of any replacement parts. And we can count on the Williamson ram pump to just run day and night way down here where it's hard to get to so the farmer doesn't have to worry about it. It's down here, he can rely on this pump to just keep working when he's somewhere else. And that's the point of this kind of ramp pump. Yeah. Ok. Muy contento con la visita de ustedes. Eh, algo grandioso. Su colaboración de venir hasta acá a ver cómo está funcionando el ariete instalado por la gente de riego de Chiriquí. Nosotros de parte de la finca de Don Antonio Medina nos sentimos pero muy, muy satisfechos. Gracias a ustedes y a Riego Chiriquí nuevamente. Gracias a ustedes. Bueno, este, quiero hablarles, hablarles de, de mi experiencia con el sistema de bombeo de agua que se llama Ariete. Este, contratamos a, a Riego de Chiriquí para que nos pusieran un Ariete hace ya varios meses atrás. Y de verdad que la experiencia ha sido extraordinaria. De verdad que es un sistema super eficiente, sencillo, mantenimiento se puede decir que casi cero. Este, bombea agua este, las 24 horas del día a cero costo. Definitivamente pienso que es una, es una gran solución para las fincas de, en estas zonas de, de altura donde tenemos muchos nacientes de agua y tenemos unas pendientes que superar para bombear el agua que son bastante altas y esta es una manera de bombearlas a los puntos que uno quiera definitivamente a cero costo entonces definitivamente lo recomiendo So here in western Panama as I said we have these areas where the native people are living in what is called the comarca and here the culture is for the people to live on ridge tops and uh, they have to walk down 200, 300, 400 feet to get the water that they use for washing and for drinking and when these women are done with the washing they'll have to take wet laundry and also water back uphill to the to the village because at this moment there's no running water now what we can do is we can install a ramp pump down in the stream and bring it way uphill to reserve tanks like this and then bring it to a tap in the communities 
where people can have clean water and they don't have to go down there anymore. So what's required is some engineering. We have to measure the heights and the distances. And we have to measure the amount of water, uh, the liters per minute that are coming through. And then we have to pick the right size ramp pump that has the right capacity and then do an installation and put that ramp pump in. So in this next video clip, we'll see how a larger ramp pump installed here in Panama is adjusted and how it sends water uphill to the reserve tanks from where it's distributed. Yeah, Kevin, good job. <laughs> All right, so here at Vision Verde, we've just measured this water. We're at the top of the hill. Just up here from across from us is the, are the reserve tanks we'll be putting water into. So we're at the level of the top of these tanks, pumping from way down there in the stream. And here comes the pipe up the hill, and here it comes. And we've just measured this water into this 5-gallon or 20-liter jug, and we filled it in 1 minute and 20 seconds. So if you do the math, that's 21,600 liters in 24 hours. And we said on our chart that we would do 20,500 liters. So we're giving more water than what, we, um, what the chart says and what we had implied to the client. That's correct. So we've set this up on a 10 to 1 ratio of pipe pumped to full used. And uh, yeah, we're going to get uh, a lot of water here for Ernesto and his guava trees. So you want to say anything there? Well, I, just, I just want to thank both of you because you know uh, after so much work you only say you we were, we were uh, almost uh, you know trying to give up they say you know there's too much work to, to water these trees with you know these small buckets of water so now thanks to Kevin uh, he brought this uh, wonderful system uh, it's gonna give, give us a uh, you know it's a herb that, that we needed for for this plantation that is in, in la lack of water. So yeah. this is wonderful. I, I really thank you. I want to thank you for for this great herb that you, you are giving us. Thank you so much. Pleasure. And so that's what ramp pumps are, how they work, and what they do. And what we'd like to see is ramp pumps used more in humanitarian water projects to bring water up to these communities. The Williamson High Flow Ram Pump, made in New Zealand, is made with such great materials and craftsmanship that it is just durable and robust. And these pumps have a commercial history of working for as many as 30 years before they need their first replacement parts. And they're just durable and they're what we need to avoid the problem of a failed water project. These pumps just will run and run and will not let you down. So. Uh, please call us if you're interested and we'll give you our full support. Thank you very much.